guys, it's Jessica, and I'm so excited to be back. I don't know, I just filmed my Disney World haul and Disneyland Paris haul, and it's gonna be way too long, and I that might already be up. I don't know what order I'm putting these in, but now it's my basin haul, which I actually bought all of this stuff in Disney World, um, where they have a basin store in the Grand Floridian and at Downtown Disney. And Tyler and I went a little crazy, because we're newlyweds, and it's just exciting, and there's all this bubble stuff, bubble bath stuff, and we were just got excited, so we bought way too much. But it was so fun, and he was so cute in there because he was actually like helping me pick stuff out. It was so cute. Anyway, um, so actually, he we vlogged while we were in there, but he's still working on all of our Disney World vlogs, so they're not all up yet. I can link it below if it is up. Um, his vlogs because we both had a lot of fun in there. Anyway, so let's get right into it. The first thing we saw when we went in there were these tubs of bath salts that you could just scoop into your own little jars. And Tyler was all about that. He was like, wait, you get to scoop them in yourself? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, wait, like these are like vials. I'm like, I know. He's like, I feel like a mad scientist. I'm like, all right, calm down. But we picked these out. They had like I want to say maybe nine or ten options and you could get like six for a better deal than you would buying them all separate and then you'd get the little bag with it so I mean I think you only save like a couple bucks but we were like eh, why not um, so and okay I gotta tell you guys this he said um, oh yeah we should get all of them and let's make sure we get different colors I think that'll be a really nice Instagram picture for you I'm like Probably would be. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to post a picture on Instagram just to appease him because it's so cute. So we got one called Sunshine and it's yellow. And um, these are just bath salts to, you know, what I like about bath salts is when I use them, they make my skin feel moisturized when I get out of the tub. It's so weird. It's like it makes the water so soft. And Sunshine really does smell really fresh, but sweet fresh. I don't really know how to describe that, but it smells really, really nice. And all of this stuff is available online, by the way. I can link each thing below. Um, the pink one, I think, was called Pink Sugar, and it smells just like sweet spun sugar at Target. If you know that candle, it's exactly. It's like cotton candy, heaven. This will probably be one I use myself, just alone. This one was called Satsuma, I think, if I'm saying that right. Um, it, this one was my favorite. It, sm it reminds me of the body shop. It's got this very, I don't know, it's a foreign smell to me. It's not a smell I'm used to, but it smells incredible. I don't know how to describe it. It's like spicy yet sweet and clean. It's like everything mixed into one. It's amazing. This one was called Lavender, I think, and it smells exactly as you would expect. Tyler really liked this one. It's, it is a really nice scent. And then these last two, I don't remember the names, but I will certainly have them below. Um, the blue one smells like very clean. It makes me think of like when candles are named like ocean waters, like that kind of a smell. And then the last one is this kind of cream colored one, and it smells very sweet, but musky. It's like musky and sweet. I'm sure, I know, you guys, I'm not a... I don't know how to describe smells very well, but I think I did okay. <laughs> anyway, those are, I'm so excited to use all of those. And what I like about Basin, so far everything is cheaper than Lush. And I've tried Lush products and they're great. I mean, I have nothing against Lush. I like it, but this is just a little bit cheaper. So I was very excited. Everything was about a dollar or two dollars cheaper for every single item. So overall, if I were to have bought all of this stuff, like the bath bombs and the soap at Lush, I probably would have spent like 15 or 20 dollars more so that was a bonus um so we got six different bath bombs they have three sizes of bath bombs small medium and large and i think we got three small and three medium and these are cheaper than lush's bath bombs as well um, and bath bombs are just cool because you put them in your bath under the running water it just fizzes and again it feels really nice and it smells really good so one of the medium ones we got was one called blue mickey or just mickey but it was the blue one they had like a white one called mickey and it just smells, again, like that blue, like ocean waters, that kind of a smell. But it has little Mickeys that'll float around in your tub afterwards. So I thought that was so fun. The medium, the, they all were like three for a certain amount. And the medium ones were three for 15, so they ended up being $5 each. But of course, if you buy them alone, I think they're like $5.99 or something. This one was called Vanilla Oak. And it smells, it's kind of got that swirly design. It smells like musky vanilla. I mean, it's a very aptly titled bath bomb, but it smells so good. Tyler loved that one. Um, and then the last medium one we got was called Blush, 
And this is one that I really liked. It was like a light pink swirl and it smells just sweet. Again, it's kind of got a perfume smell. So it's not necessarily one Tyler would like. And frankly, he'd probably smell like this afterwards, which would be funny, but, um, so this is more of just a girly one, but I really, really like that too. So we've got two of the sandalwood and patchouli um, ones. Oh my gosh, it smells incredible. Tyler uses the sandalwood shaving stuff and it smells absolutely incredible. And that's what it smells like to me. So we got two of those because he loves that smell and I definitely love that smell. And then the last small bath bomb we got is just called Blue. Um, I don't remember what this one smells like. It's like a, almost like a periwinkle blue. It just smells clean. You know, um, the only, they don't have a huge select, well, that's not true. They've got a pretty decent selection, but I, I felt like after I smelled a few, I'm like, okay, they all kind of smell the same. So that was one kind of downside to it. Now, I'm really excited about the last few things I got. So I got some soaps for different holidays coming up just cause it's so fun to me. And I just am very, a very festive person. So this one I got for the fall or Halloween and it was just called Jack and it's a jack-o'-lantern. It has that kind of fall smell to it. Like it kind of smells like spices, but also like pumpkin pie mixed together. It smells amazing. And then for Christmas time, I got this one called Mickey, but it's like the holiday Mickey version. And it smells like nutmeg and like Christmas trees mixed together. You can't smell it through the wrapper. I wish I could, but it's incredible. And then this one I got to use right now. It's also called Mickey, but it's just like the regular one. It, I don't remember what this smelled like. Um, but I remember it smelled really good, whatever it was. And I just loved it. It's so cute. So I'm going to put this in our kitchen now. And then the last thing I got at the checkout. We were about to check out and I saw this and I was like, I want to see if it works. It was called Dr. Spot and it's like a soap bar, but I guess you rub it on spots on your clothes. And they said it literally has worked on 100% of stains they've ever used it on, on every fabric they've tried it on. I'm like, what? So, I mean, that was such an outrageous claim. I'm like, I got to try it. It was like $6.99, but I'm like, if this works, this could last a really long time and it's so much cheaper having one of these for a long time than going through bottles of Shout. Um, I act like I've got kids. I just get stains on my clothes all the time. I am the messiest eater. I'm just very, very clumsy. So I feel like I'm going through bottles of Shout like crazy. So, so excited to give this a try. I'll have to let you guys know. So those are all the things I got at Basin. Again, if you're interested in any of them, I'll link them below. Um, it was just so fun to go shopping there. And it makes me want to try out Lush again. I really haven't gotten Lush products in a very long time. Again, not for any reason. I just haven't. Um, so I think when I run out of this stuff, I'll either, if I love it, I might just go on Basin's website and order more because it's cheaper. But I also want to get back into Lush too and try some more of it because I just forgot about all of this bath stuff. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out my other videos and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.